This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. So in server side troubleshooting, there was uh, one thing which was pending. So in monitoring on daily basis, what you have to do, you go to monitoring and then you go to system status here, and then you go to site status, and you verify that this is running fine. You see, everything is okay except the first one. Why it has issues? It is the component server on the database. You see, it is, it's the database server, and the role name is component server. Okay, so you can right click and then show messages and choose all for the past one day and click OK. So I don't see any issues, uh, any message for the past one day. So this will probably go away because you just restarted the server, right? Yes, yeah. this is started with the server. So it will probably go away in few uh, few minutes. Uh, show messages and then all for the past one week, for example. So we don't have any issue for the past one week. So, so previously we had some issues, but that is gone. So now it will, if you click on reset count and all, that means just uh, remove this error message. If this is a false error, then it will go away. Then you have to come to component status and here in component status, you need to come to add criteria and choose a status, add. Again, add criteria and then choose a status and add. So here we will use critical and warning. So give me the status of critical and warning and search. I don't have any. That means all are green. All are what? Uh, okay. So you have to make sure all are okay here. Okay. See, I don't see any error. All are okay. <laughs> So if you have issues, for example, your management point is not working. So there is a uh, control. This one, MP control. This is your management point. Right click, show messages and choose all. For the past one day and click OK. You see, we had some problem with management point on this time. Okay. 12 15 like half an hour back we had some problem okay maybe you were restarting the machine at that time or starting the machine but after that you see component started and i don't see any problem all good clear yeah so you have to make sure you check this one on daily basis okay this will also go away okay don't worry about it Okay, also if you would like to check the services in different machine instead of you logging into multiple computers and checking the server uh, Checking the services multiple computer means the SCCM related servers. Let's say you have uh, Multiple servers like secondary side primary side you can check those services from here right click and then choose start and choose configuration manager services manager so here you will get all SCCM related servers. Okay, if I expand this piece one and then uh, servers it will list down all sccm related servers so i have two servers sccm related servers one is database right on database what all services are running right so it is showing uh, this uh, service on database i have this service right click and then query query means to check whether the service is running or not running on that machine it is running you don't have to log into that machine manually and check rather you can check it from here plus in SCCM server 
if you would like to query any uh, what all services are running let's say this one the first one right click query and that's gonna show us whether it is running or not it's running understood sms yes. this is for this this is for distribution point right click and then query to check whether the distribution point uh, service is running or not it's running okay similarly for management point you have mp control mp control mp control this one right click and query that's going to show you whether this is running or not running okay it's running now let's come back to the client side troubleshooting so in client side you have devices right and you you check whether the client is working or not for example client one this machine has a client installed and client has talked to the server on this date date and time so yesterday the client talked to the server right today is 4th of 4th of may as per the current time and the client talked to the server yesterday okay this one is client talk to the server today but on other machines right so this will get updated quickly because you just started the server so client talk to the server yesterday now for example the client is not talking to the server for the for the last seven days then this will become inactive currently it is active right yes so this will become inactive if the client is not talking to the server for the consecutive seven days then this will be marked as inactive understood yes sir. So now if in, in order to in order to troubleshoot the client, let's say the client is not talking to the server. So what you can do is you can go to the machine. Uh, sorry, you can right click on this and let's say install client. OK. Next. You have option to repair the client in case if you would like to repair the client the client is already installed but you would like to repair it so from here you can repair it understood yeah if you would like to reinstall the client uh, i mean uninstall and reinstall then you check this box so the client on that machine will get uninstalled and reinstalled okay now so if that is still not working sometime you will have to install you will have to do manual installation manual removal so you go to for example the client is not working properly on this machine it has some problem right so how will you troubleshoot the client issues on this machine so first of all you will see whether the computer has good amount of memory or not so it has 99.8 so C drive has, should have good uh, free space. Plus, in CMD, you open command prompt, and then you need to make sure the, the SCCM server is pingable from here. And it is pinging, right? Yeah. Similarly, from SCCM server, this machine should also ping. Okay. From SCCM server, this machine should ping. Okay now in order to uninstall the client because suppose if the client is not working properly uh, so you go to services services.msc and you restart one service called sms agent host this uh, this is the client service right click and restart understood if this service is running that's fine but restart and check whether the client is started working or not how will you verify 
you can go to C drive windows CCM and then logs and client ID manager startup this is the log file which shows you the client is registered or not okay so you see client is already registered we just restarted this service right if you go up you see we restarted the service what does it say shut down and then started the service and then if you go down it re-registered the client what does it say it client is already registered exiting okay in case if it is still not working properly as expected you tried all possible steps so what you can do you can uninstall the client how will you uninstall you go to a folder there is a folder c drive windows and ccm setup this is the folder okay so let's go to this folder through using command prompt so cd windows slash ccm setup so i am on this folder and then i need to run one file ccm setup.exe space slash uninstall so we can manually uninstall the client like this so the client will go away from here it will uninstall okay and there is a log file okay this ccm setup will show you whether the client is getting uninstalled or not let's open that log file yes so it is remo removing you see ccm remove ccm yeah. remove so it is removing the client from this machine so we'll have to leave it as it is for some time and also you don't have to uh, be there in ccm setup folder let's go out cd slash and hit enter so we are on c drive now so it is uninstalling the client understood So you might have some firewall issue, right? You have to check the firewall as well. If the firewall is uh, ports are opened or not, <clears throat> right? So if the firewall is blocked, then uh, the client and the server cannot talk to each other. You have to check the DNS issue. Suppose if this machine is not there in the DNS, then it will also not work from SCCM. SCCM server cannot talk to this machine if the machine is not there in the DNS. Okay. Looks like the client is uninstalled. Let me go to CCM setup. You see logs, CCM setup dot log. You see CCM setup exiting with return return code zero. Okay, it's gone. Yes. Okay. So now what we will do, we will manually delete a folder. So CCM and CCM setup, these are SCCM related folders, leftover folders from C Windows, right? So we can manually delete them. Okay, they are gone. Okay. Well, the config manager icon was there on the desktop. Let's delete that icon. You can also download one uh, file which will clean up the uh, leftover files from registry. So download CCM clean. Let's go down, 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 down. Yes, this one CCM clean. Let's download this one. And then I will run this one. Okay. This is gonna clean the leftover files from the registry and all. So your system has been successfully cleaned. So that is done. Now, in order to reinstall the client, I either you push the client from the console 
or you copy the client setup from the server so let's copy the client setup from the server so let's connect to the server slash slash sccmps slash c dollar right slash program files slash microsoft config manager so we have connected to the sscm primary site server c drive program files and there is a folder called client this is your client installer folder copy and put it on the desktop so we can manually reinstall the client we have uninstalled the client manually now we are reinstalling the client manually okay so double click and then right click on this ccm setup run as administrator the moment you do that it will start installing the client how will you find out you can go back to the c drive here windows you see it created folder ccm setup again we deleted that folder already but it created just now so if you go to see so uh, again all the files will come here yes yeah, Kashif, uh from where we copied that client folder from the server, server. ccm primary site server yeah yeah okay so it started it will take a few minutes and then client will get reinstalled okay yeah you might have heard that wmi repository is corrupt or something sometime you uh, you know people are saying wmi, WMI is a repository uh, in every computer you have like a small database of the computer okay uh, so that is present in system 32 folder webm you see this is repository so all your uh, this this is like uh, your computer dna all your computer related information is present here okay yeah like application number number of application number of patches number of uh, um, you know almost everything is present here understood all those information and your sccm client is taking all information from here so in case your sccm client is not able to get information from here let's say these this is the corrupt this repository file uh, repository uh, is corrupt it's not working properly so we can re repair the repository as well wmi repository how will you repair you open services dot msc okay services dot msc and you go to windows management instrumentation you see windows management instrumentation service this will be running all the time you just pause it you can't restart you don't have to restart i mean uh, you pause it when you paused it then you can come back to this folder and delete this folder okay yep. and then you re resume this okay when you resume it it will create the folder again and it will repopulate everything all the information back so that is how we repair the WMI repository. The WMI repository is like a DNA of the computer and you need to make sure it is healthy so that the client can take all the information from here. So this is also one of the important aspects. Okay. Any question before we wrap it up? I need to jump on a different call now. Yeah, no question. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'll send you the recording okay other yeah. people uh, those who just joined uh, just wait for a few seconds and join again guys join again uh, after uh, after 10 seconds okay i'm closing this meeting and uh, starting the meeting again thank you everyone